right, Glad Rev channel. You're with Marcus Haywood. Marcus, uh, tell us about what's happening tomorrow. I've uh, just got a catchway fight, uh, four three minute rounds uh, versus a guy out of uh, Peach Boxing, Omar Ismail. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty pretty late um, late matchup, but you know we're both game, so it's on. When did you know this fight was happening? Uh, I think it was Monday. We had an original opponent, but um, he, he pulled out. So uh, thankful to Peach Boxing to throw their fighter forward and um, get, a, get a show on. So I'm just happy to be on the card. You know, the stable of fighters from Peach Boxing, you know, they got Andre, they got David Light, yeah. Omar. Um, what do you think of that gym and what do you think of the, the fighters that they had? Yeah, no, they're pumping out nothing but class from Peach Boxing, you know. Uh, fought a couple of boys from there, so. Um, can definitely testify for what Isaac's doing there. He's doing a great job with his, with his fighters. And um, they always put up a good fight. Max, we just captured this weigh-in and we'll just... Okay, so you're fighting at the Auckland Museum? Yeah. Uh, I thought museums are supposed to be like boring places. Like, um, have you fought in a museum before? No, no, I haven't, but um, it'll be a good experience, you know? It's an interesting venue, so, you know, maybe we'll fight around some fossils or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, it should be good. You know, you fought a high caliber of opponents, you know, from Andre Mikhailovich, lately to Bowen Morgan. Um, man, like, how, how, like, do you feel your, yourself getting better each time, like, fighting these? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, uh, definitely the Andre fight was a massive step up. And um, and then following that with, with Bowen Morgan, yeah, it was class act after class act. So, they, yeah, I don't think you can go through fights like that and not get any better or improve or you know, find things to improve on. So I feel like from there, just keep improving day by day. So yeah, it's been good, but um, good to get back in the ring though. You know, when you fought like an Australian stuff, like does it make a difference where you fight? Like, you know, you travel around the country, but doesn't, do you prefer a fighting location? Um, not particularly, as long as the crowd's going, you know, as long as uh, everyone's up on their feet and cheering, it doesn't really bother me. You know, I, I fought on the King of the Ring card not long ago, and um, that was with the COVID restrictions. And so the, the crowd was quite quiet, which was a bit strange, but still, once you get in the ring, you know, you switch on, it's, it doesn't really matter what's going on outside of the ring, so not really. As long as it's, um, you know, nice room temperature, not boiling hot, you know, I've had a few fights over in Thailand and, and things like that, and the, the blistering heat, so no, it doesn't really bother me, and it shouldn't really bother anyone, so yeah. And what's it like training with Chris Martin? Oh, it's bloody awesome, mate. Best, best coach in New Zealand here. Yeah? But um, no, it's good training um, all over the place at the moment at Shane Cameron's gym, uh, a bit at uh, King's Academy and a few other gyms with, with, uh, with more class fighters, so great experience, it's good, yeah, loving it. And you know, just before you get into the ring, like, is there any ritual that you do? Is there something that you like to follow, like for every fight? No, not really, it's just, um, just, just stay calm and focus, you know, try not to let the, uh, the emotions get, get the best of you and just um, go in there confident. Get confident and just, yeah, just relax mostly. And what kind of fight are you expecting in Omar tomorrow? Um, well, I'd say he's going to come, come forward. Um, probably um, peach boxes, you know, they all they like to throw everything with a lot of power. So I'm expecting a lot of power um, early off in the fight. And um, yeah, I'll try and counteract with my speed and, and agility because I'm going to be the smaller guy. So speed kills, you know. All right, man, all the best. Uh, all the best for tomorrow, and you know, we hope to see you fighting more often. Yeah, for yeah. sure, man. Thank Take you. Take care. Thanks, Marcus. Cheers. Cheers.